Hey everybody, it's Emily from Hopscotch Interactive with what I think is some breaking news and that is that DJI, at least in one isolated case that I have verified, uh, somebody has received a remote ID firmware update notification in the app. So that happened yesterday for that person. They are in a no-fly zone. So when they went to go fly today, actually they were not able to take off. But DJI has apparently ruled out at least, it, so it seems, uh, at least perhaps an initial uh, firmware update for Remote ID, and this is for the Mavic 2 Pro. So after I got that notification, I tested it myself. I uh, turned on my drone, I checked the app, and it was checking for firmware, but I didn't get a notification to update. So that was strange because it didn't match and it didn't uh, actually prompt me to do anything. And I went into the app, I looked manually, I still didn't see anything. And so I'm not sure what that means. Uh, but then the bigger part of this is that in addition to there not being any news about this or emails is that or like this, like at least that I could find, but please tell me if you have seen something to the contrary. But when this person went out of the no fly zone and was able to get to an area where they could take off, uh, they received error message 180 from DJI. So they were trying to take off, but they got error message 180, which is an error message that allows you, doesn't allow you to take off. I checked that out because, you know, this is a community. I'm trying to help and see what I can find out. I'm really interested in this. And when I searched it up, it looked like DJI from about eight months ago had somebody who had written into the forum and said that they got the same error message when updating firmware to remote ID. And that the solution for that person was to update the software for the mobile SDK app which was strange because that person must have either been a beta tester or they had the mobile SDK app on their phone. And I'm surprised because that would seem to be such a tiny percentage of the people that actually fly who would even have the mobile SDK. So that seems strange. And I checked with this person, they don't have the mobile SDK app on their phone at all, which would be even stranger if you had to then install new software and then update that for this to work. So let's just say the jury's out, but if you get an update for firmware, do not be surprised if you get this error message 180. If anybody has been able to overcome error message 180 and that they know more about this, please write into the chat and let me know uh, what you did in order to get around that uh, or if you were able to take off at all after doing this update. So anyway, it's a sign of imminent, I would say imminent uh, firmware updates, but maybe not because even if you do the firmware update, there might still be a, a wall that you're gonna hit. So I would say if I get the firmware update notification, I'm absolutely gonna hold off until I know for sure that this person in our community was able to update it completely, and then to be able to take off uh, again after installing the firmware. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much. And I hope this is helpful. But if you see that notification, I would think twice before installing it just yet, which I can't believe I'm saying, but I think you might want to just take pause um, on this particular firmware, especially because uh, downgrading to the previous version of firmware unless you have a very simple way of doing that um, you might create like yet another rabbit hole for yourself on trying to downgrade the software until this is fixed so anyway it looks like a bug alert and I just want to let you guys know so that's about it thanks so much and have a really good day and it's great seeing you all again thank you so much bye